the previous episode, we looked at directly uploading our avatar images and then getting an instant response on the same page. And so in this episode, we're going to continue on with that episode. However, when we upload the image, we'll then get a crop. So at the time of creating the record, we can crop our image. And when we create the record, it'll then just have the cropped image. However, one thing that we are not going to do is to modify the original picture. Instead, we will use an active storage variant. So we always keep the original size. And on the edit user page, you could make it to where the cropped image automatically comes in. However, I'm just triggering it whenever the image is uploaded. And so if we take a different portion and update the user, then that's the cropped image that we will receive. And we can use that throughout our application. And so one of the tricky things that's going to add some complication into this episode is that the direct upload instantly was a stimulus controller that we created in the previous episode. So when we select an image, we see that the direct upload was called, and then we pull the image down to display it. So with that stimulus controller working, we then have another issue of having that stimulus controller calling out to another stimulus controller, which will be our cropper, to then initialize and display the cropping. And so we will need to revisit our previous episode to create some custom events. So once we know that we have redrawn the image on the page, we can then apply the cropper. And did you know that you can go to railstore.com to get your own Ruby on Rails t-shirt or your Drift and Ruby t-shirt? So be sure to check that out and use the promo code RUBY for free shipping within the United States. To watch this full episode and more videos, visit driftandruby.com and subscribe to the Pro Membership.